An article in today's uh, USA Today claims that a 54-year-old federal land program that protects special places like Yellowstone Park could soon disappear. However, Senator Steve Dane says that's just not true. MTN's Medeiros Babb finds out when the bill is expected to go before Congress and the consequences if it doesn't pass. Land and Water Conservation Fund is a more than 50-year-old program that uses offshore gas and oil revenue to purchase and increase access to public lands across the entire nation. It has been in place for over 50 years, but recently expired in September. Executive Director of Montana Wildlife Federation Dave Chadwick says if it doesn't get reinstated soon, there could be some serious issues for the Treasure State. So... This program has been absolutely crucial over the years. It's meant hundreds of millions of dollars uh, for acquiring public land in Montana and really supporting all the reasons that we enjoy the outdoors. Senator Steve Daines was one of the key people in trying to make the fund permanent earlier this month. Despite major bipartisan support, the negotiations still fell short due to the government shutdown. This means revenues are still being collected, but transactions remain at a standstill. It takes years to put together these deals. Private landowners, the state, the federal government coming together. And when you have the federal government, the United States Congress can't get its job done. It creates uncertainty. And consequently, who loses when there's uncertainty? The American people lose. The LWCF has given $16 billion to states and federal agencies to buy millions of acres in public lands. However, critics of the fund believe it isn't being used how it was originally intended and needs a lot of reform. In Bozeman, Medeiros Bab, MTN News. Thanks, Medeiros. Senator Dames has confirmed the fund will make its way before Congress sometime in January, and he says he expects it will pass.